Hello guys, so welcome to this session of Angular Learning and in this session we will be going to learn about enums in Angular application. So we will be talking about importance of enum, enums in Angular and how we are gonna create enums in Angular application. So enums are counted as the best practices and your clean code strategy while developing or working on your Angular applications. So in this session, I will also share the coding knowledge, like how we can do this in code and how we can create enums in Angular applications. So let's start with the session. Okay, so here in front of you, uh, on as I'm sharing my screen, so I am actually on a sample Angular uh, Angular applications. So this is the Angular sample Angular application, and here, like I will show you how we can create enum. So here we have enum directory. Assuming that I'm deleting this uh, enum directory for now, right? So in this, I have architected this little Angular application in a way that we have components, we have core. We have also shared a uh, directory in which we have shared components and other uh, modules or kind of shared components. So here in shared directory, I am going to create a new directory with the name of enums, right? So here enums will be going to uh, locate. So inside enum, uh, I am creating a file, like maybe, uh, like assuming that we are working on the uh, payment integration module. So we are going to integrate the payment integration. So I will show you how uh, we can adapt the enums while working on Angular projects. So here I am saying like, uh, I'm creating an enum for like payment provider dot enum dot ts what uh, like it's dependent on your uh, scope or feature on which you are working so in my case i am creating as payment provider right so here in payment provider i'm creating enum like export enum i must say it payment provider right this is how we are uh, we, we are we have to uh, create enum and inside enum we have multiple key value pairs so uh, inside here we have multiple keys like i'm saying i uh, i'm saying like there will be an visa visa property right so for visa i am saying like this should be the value and also for in terms of like if i can say credit card right so credit card have some value also, I am saying like maybe we have uh, Bitcoin or crypto, not specifically Bitcoin, but we are saying like we have cryptocurrency, right? For this, we have we have a value of uh, crypto, I must say, right? And here in credit card, assuming that we have this value of credit card, right? So this is the uh, this is the way how we are gonna how we can uh, create the enum in enums in Angular application. So here in enum I I have stated as export. So why I am saying this export so that I can export this enum I I can consume this enum in multiple other uh, other components or other modules. Right. So now I will show you for the next step. I will show you how we can adapt uh, this and how we can use this payment provider in um, in the inside components. So here I have a components directory. I have this payment directory. So assuming that I am deleting this one, so now we don't have any. So I am creating a new uh, Angular component here. Right. So I am saying like ng generate component. So I am require. I must require the payment component here, right? So here you can see payment payment component is ready to use. So this is a payment component uh, I generated with Angular CLI. So I am going into the app dot module, app dot routing module for creating a new uh, path here, for so that I can access the payment component in my application. So here we have multiple components listed. So I am saying like uh, I have to import payment component, right? So why I am doing this is uh, like this is a way how we can uh, create a route inside Angular application for our components. 
right so if i'm uh, i am saying like i must say like there will be a payment route here this is the way how we can access the payment component in our angular applications so this is the application running so as you can see i have listed at users right so users are the users component so this is how i can access payment so you can see it's working payment works right so i can open the html file here so i am creating it at h1 tag i must say like payment provider right so it's working here so i have let me create a few buttons here uh, so that i can show you like how we can do conditional work so assuming i have created it for visa i created it for two others like credit card and one is for crypto right okay so you can see now we have three buttons for payment credit card and uh, cryptocurrency so i have also assuming that we have another value like i am saying payment method is selected as and i must do the property binding here so let me go in my payment component and inside my payment component i am saying like selected payment method right so nothing is selected here so this is the payment selected method i will do some comparison in terms of enum values whatever will be coming from backend so i will do decide and then i will uh, assign that selected value inside selected payment method so i am doing the property binding here property binding and also property binding is also the concept in angular applications so you can see here uh, it's saying it it says payment payment method is selected is so nothing is coming here for now because i have created i have assigned empty string here right so here uh, i also let me create another method so that i can show you like how we can compare uh, in terms of static values here so for now for the very first level i will do i will create this component and we'll do assign in part and conditional part uh, in terms of uh, what i can say the static values and then after i will show you how we can how we can avoid this static value comparison and passing and storing static values rather than using of enum so that you can understand like what's the importance of enums for now i am creating as on select payment i am creating a method here and inside this method should be provided from uh, our markup file from where we are consuming this on select payment right so let me consume it from html file so inside html uh, this is the button so we can say click click is an event through which we can bind this right so for now i am passing it as hard coded values like for visa for credit card right and for crypto okay so these are the static values here uh, we are actually been uh, taking so here whatever whatever will be coming from there so it's been passed as the uh, <coughs> what i can say it will be passed as this uh, selected payment method for now i will be i will be doing it as if and else clauses multiple so uh let me check it out like what's method coming here i am doing some comparison so if method is coming as visa this one right so we can we can assign this visa here this dot selected method is visa right so let me copy it for two payment payment methods more here right and for credit card i'm doing it as credit card here and here and for cryptocurrency i'm also passing these static values here right so now if we can run our application so it will be working fine so if i'm if i'm if i'm clicking on visa so you can see visa is listed here right so if i'm clicking on credit card so you can see credit card is also listed here if i'm clicking on cryptocurrency so so on and so far right so but now uh, you have also analyzed that we are doing those part statically 
uh, from this HTML file, we are also passing uh, Visa as a static value. And also for credit card and for crypto, we are passing the static string to this method. And inside TS file, we are also comparing this method with uh, like whatever the value is coming. So we are comparing it with the uh, static value of Visa, credit card, and crypto. So this is actually the bad practice for, and the, 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 this is also known as the code smell while we are working on uh, projects. So how we can improve it with enum? So first of all, we have created this enum. So let me show you now how we can do this part with enums, right? So currently we have implemented it as statically. And now we are going to learn like how we can adapt this with the uh, enums, right? So for enum, if I'm importing this as payment provider, right? So for payment provider, I must create a variable here. Okay, give me a second. So payment provider, right? So payment provider P should be in Tamil case because we are working with the variables. So variables are recommended to create it in terms of camel case, right? So payment provider. So what it says, it says fail to compile. I don't know why. Okay, payment provider. Okay, you can see like what, what's the error it's been coming. Okay, dot enum dot ts. Sorry, maybe we have created is as enum.ts. So the payment provider. Okay, here we can check it out what it's been going on. So this payment provider is Okay, so we can create it as like, uh, if you are directly creating this like this way, but we can also create it this way. Maybe let's see if it, if it will work. So we can say public payment provider equal to payment provider and how we can do it with this one. So inject decorator. So this is a payment provider and inside HTML file we didn't consume it so far. So here in TS file it's been making issue. So uh, let's rename this file from this way, right? So that we can import it this way. So now it will start working. So because in naming convention I have used uh, payment provider dot enum dot ts. So that's what actually it was making issue. Right, so I have uh, now imported this payment provider enum here, right? So, and also we have created this constructor. So now we don't need to create this constructor here. However, we can, however, we can do this part above then this, right? So payment provider, any equal to payment provider for now, right? And we have did this with camel case because variables are recommended to be used as in camel case. So here in payment provider, so rather than passing this visa from here, I will be doing some important things here. So for visa, we have this visa, right? So I will be using this values from enums directly rather than passing the uh, static, static values. For crypto as well, this one, let me copy paste those values here. So for credit card, we are using this enum and for crypto we are using this enum right so this is the way uh, while using of enums let me go into the payment module now okay so you can see if i'm clicking on visa visa is coming red card credit card is coming so this is working fine so from ts file we have uh, from html file we have 
use that bar from ts file let's uh, use that one so rather than doing it with visa here so we can use this is this dot payment provider so this is a payment provider we have we have imported in this component and we are using this uh, variable as an instance so we are consuming visa we are consuming visa from this payment provider and rather than returning this value so we will be doing this way so same for credit card and same for crypto let me place the exact values here so if i'm going into the enum file so this is a credit card and inside this credit card i'm doing this and for cryptocurrency i'm also doing this right so these are the values here so if i'm clicking on visa credit card crypto so application is working fine earlier with static uh, with static way as well and now application is also working fine when we have uh, uh, accumulated this enums in it so but the, this is what the main thing is like this is actually been in a best practice so now assuming that in future your product went so far and you want to add some more uh, enums here in my case like if i'm doing it with like what's another payment method like assuming that visa or i am saying like paypal right so paypal this way right so this is another uh, like the enum enum for paypal is also created here so the good thing about it like in future assuming that your back end or your system had uh, acquired you they have started using visa payment this is the key for that visa payment so you don't need to change anywhere else in html or ts you only have to change this value here assuming that your enum is being used throughout 2000 places in your angular application so this is actually a very uh, best practice because you only have to change this single key here inside your enums rather than uh, comparing and uh, changing 2000 files with this static keyword right so this is uh, this is a main use of enums in your angular application so if i'm clicking on visa so you can see visa payment started coming from directly here so again if i'm using this is a visa so if i'm clicking on visa you can see it started coming like this html and uh, ts file they are directly using the instance from that enum and inside that enum we are only changing the keys so guys this is the importance of enums in your angular applications so this is how we can uh, for this session actually you have learned how we can create enum in our angular applications how we can use enums how we can do conditional parts while comparing while comparing values so how we can make use of enums uh, in those strategies so yeah that's it for now so thank you so much for watching this uh, session so hopefully we will be connecting and we will be uh, looking after some more angular concepts in future so yeah thank you see you guys